went out this weekend. Um, went out the first day with uh, Trip Drax from the site. Um, Jack went out to Williams, got on some decent fish, got some good video. Um, and then the second day, I was planning on going to Red Mill, but the winds were 25 to 30 miles per hour, and there was white caps at Red Mill, and I wasn't doing that in that little boat. It's just not fun having the trolling motor all the way up on five, and you feel like you're not going anywhere. Um, but we had a good time the second day too. Um, but I'll show you what baits worked out there. And uh, so the second day, I went with uh, Andy from the site as well. Um, but it was a good time out there. I'm gonna show you all the baits we used and what worked. White custom chatter bait. These guys are fat here, filled up on some nice uh, shad, big bellies on them. Nice good. fish, nice fish. Oh. Nice. I love this point. That's nice. <laughs> it's proving itself to be nice. kill thing with them. Big? Oh, oh, oh. Same place, hitting this point over and over and over. Fish right there. Oh, oh, this one? Oh, yeah, little things make a difference. Yep, little subtle differences. Like on the Potomac, they like a white gold blade. You get more bites on that than silver blades.
fire. one this morning doing a uh, uh, RC 1.5 painted by Piz and uh, crappy effects. It's about, it's about three pounds. First dish. Found the same pattern as yesterday on the left of the wood on a turn. What's up? Not bad. Not bad at all. Just press it up. Andy's got his first one this morning, hitting that wood on the left side on turns. But we got some big ones coming around the corner, hopefully. On the turn on the left side of the wood, we actually have just caught three in a row, five casts. Hopefully, we're getting some more in just a second. But he's got a nice body to Hitting up the point. Uh, Andy just got this one, throwing a square bill across the point, just like we were yesterday. Looking good. Nice fish, bud. Andy just caught this one, had this feeling that there's a, there's a submerged tree out in the middle of this cove, and I just said, I feel like we're going to get one here. First cast past the tree, got this boy. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. Yeah. Caught another one, still throwing square bills, and they're still holding to the left. I caught this one on the left side of the turn again. Same place, same thing, left side. They're holding about 10 feet off of the off the shoreline, off the docks. Look at that little fat belly on him, all filled up. Nice. So this is what ended up working. Mainly it was uh, first day, it was chatter baits and spinner baits. A couple on square barrels, but nothing like to say that there was a pattern on them. Um, first day was 
all white one. We got a few on the original, but they seem to be keying in on the white blade in particular. And I, I got, I was getting them back to back. There was just, they were on fire for a little bit there. Um, we also did get some on the spinner bait the first day, the assassinator clacker, and um, Jack was throwing something similar to this, but it was a single. Uh, Colorado blade, and uh, this one is the DNM custom chatterbaits. But and then uh, we did get some on a square bill. But second day, um, it was really all square bills, um, all lucky crafts. A few or one or two fish on the Spro Little John, but they really didn't want it. Uh, they wanted something with a fatter profile. Uh, turns out this is one of them. This is one I was letting Andy use. He learned. Uh, you can smack it to get the grass off, but you gotta like skim it across the water and not slam it. You can see the broken, broken bill there. But uh, I don't know what particular color that one was, but that was working for him. And then uh, this is the main color was working for me. Black crappy effects, getting them all day on it. You see all the teeth marks in there. And then I was getting a few here and there on the DNM custom chatterbait black and blue with the bluegill uh, kaolin scrub five inch on the back um, I also did get some fish on Lunker City Grubster on an eighth ounce uh, owner ultra head um, when the fishing slowed down when we were on a spot where they were I would throw this in there and pick out a couple more and then move on to the next spot but hope you all enjoy the video hope you all uh, like me doing this, checking out the baits. Um, all the fish on the square bills were caught on points, on turns, on the left side of the wood, and uh, it was all about five to seven feet deep. Um, catch you all next time.